Morning of November 8, 2013, Super Typhoon Yolanda barreled through Visayas region of the Philippines with strong winds and devastating waves, deeply affecting more than 30 provinces in the Philippines, especially Leyte and Samar Islands. The widespread destruction was caused by storm surge or a high seawater wave similar to a tsunami. According to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, Typhoon Yolanda left 6,300 casualties, 29,000 people injured, and more than 4 million were displaced. Over a million homes, buildings, and infrastructure were either partially damaged or totally destroyed. The Philippine government immediately declared a state of emergency in the calamity-stricken areas. Emergency relief goods and aid were mobilized. International communities joined hands in rescue and relief operations. President Noynoy Aquino expressed his deep commitment to build back better, a principle of building resilient communities in the devastated areas. On November 26, 2013, Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, dispatched a team of experts to the Philippines to identify the needs for recovery and reconstruction. Given the team's assessment, JICA implemented the project, the Urgent Development Study on the Project on Rehabilitation and Recovery from Typhoon Yolanda in the Philippines, with its aim to support local people in their efforts for recovery and reconstruction with the use of available local technology and a view of achieving sustainable development. The project targets 18 severely damaged local government units along the eastern coasts of Leyte and southern coasts of Samar Islands. To achieve recovery from the aftermath of Typhoon Yolanda and essentially sustainable development, the LGUs, in collaboration with JICA, implemented the project on planning. The activities focused not only on Disaster Risk Reduction Management Plan, but also the Comprehensive Land Use Plan, which is crucial to build safer physical environment and spatial structure. Considered as the mother of all plans, CLUP must be harmonized with other plans such as Comprehensive Development Plan or CDP. These plans should be developed based on hazard maps, Hazard maps are vital tools for hazard analysis, guiding discussions, and promoting map-based approach planning. This is the result of a simulation of the storm surges during Typhoon Yolanda. JICA carried out scientific analysis of storm surges and river floods. A simulation model was established based on meteorological data and topographical data combined with field survey results of storm surge marks. The scale of external forces was analyzed, comparing characteristics of Typhoon Yolanda with past disasters. Finally, JICA formulated hazard maps that were distributed to the 18 LGUs with JICA experts sharing the know-how for its effective utilization. Through the use of hazard maps, several plans were effectively carried out. In Tacloban City, workshops were held for revision of CLUP the workshop is focused on mainstreaming disaster risk reduction management into the plan and shows how people can protect their own lives and properties using overlay hazard map with land use map. In Palo Municipality, MacArthur Memorial was targeted from the view of safety and development and future dream plan was made using area management approach. Output and related activities were summarized and put into a handbook that could be used for CLUP revision by other regions. For evacuation plan in five LGUs, LGU planning officers identified high-risk zones based on the hazard map and confirmed the locations of evacuation centers as well as the number of evacuees per evacuation center to prepare for future disasters, aiming improvement of evacuation plan. During Typhoon Ruby, we were so happy that we were able to use the hazard maps um, given to us by Taika. They were very much instrumental in order to make use of them for our people to consider uh, as to what would be the things that they would do considering the, the hazards 
So the hazard maps that we presented uh, gave the people an encouragement for them to move out from their coastal residences. The local fishery and agricultural industries also suffered great losses brought about by Typhoon Yolanda. Together with JICA, LGUs and the locals set up livelihood programs through the reproduction and selling of local products. Livelihood activities aim to revitalize the value chain. Under the JICA project, infrastructure and livelihood projects named Quick Impact Projects were implemented in 11 municipalities of Typhoon Yolanda affected areas. Those activities were interrelated to each other. The primary products such as oysters and milkfish were produced through the fishery projects. These products are sold at public markets that were also reconstructed through the QIPs. Women associations took the lead in adding value to the chain by processing milkfish to produce soft bone bangus and oysters to vacuum fried oysters, aiming to diversify their source of income. JICA also worked with the local processors for their marketing activities. As a result, the activities of the Quick Impact Projects covered various levels of the supply chain, aiming to contribute on the enhancement of the economic activities of the disaster-hit area. We have six women's associations in our municipality. From them, we have four women's associations, existing organizations who have been processing on boneless bangus in Botido, uh, the Langunisa, and the BJP Shino Girls. So these are the women's associations who have been supported by Chaika. We believe that women can change lives. In Region 8, Many public facilities and establishments were severely damaged by the super typhoon. Majority of the roof structures were either poorly installed or made of substandard quality, and worst case, both. To build back better, JICA brought in skilled specialists from Japan and conducted on-the-job trainings in collaboration with Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, TESDA graduates and TESDA trainers. The trainings aim to enhance local construction skills and introduce Typhoon Resilient Roofing System in all the public facilities for reconstruction projects. This roofing system features the use of gusset plates to connect all truss members. These trusses are then secured by welding to base plates on roof beams and columns. Including the training of the trainers, and also referral of our graduates in welding to the contractor that was uh, awarded for the project. So now we have, after that program, actually, along, along the way during the construction, there was this um, development of instructional material in CD, which is now being used by our schools offering shielded metal art building programs. They have, I received a very good feedback on this material and they said that this is very helpful. Officials from Higashi Matsushima City in Japan, which was also seriously affected by Great East Japan earthquake, visited the calamity-stricken areas and shared insights on recovery and reconstruction from the Great Earthquake. On the other hand, a group of officials from the 18 Yolanda-affected LGUs and some relevant national government agencies traveled to Higashi Matsushima City and shared their experiences and lessons learned for recovery and reconstruction and they ensured Build Back Better as their common goal. After Typhoon Yolanda, the Philippine government and the Filipinos have gradually taken a vital step towards Build Back Better. Slowly, they are able to overcome the difficulties and now they are facing head-on the actual recovery and reconstruction phases. Our experience with Typhoon Yolanda taught us a lot of uh, lessons from uh, preparedness to, to our ability to respond. Uh, until now, the Philippine government continues to carry out a lot of uh, efforts to recover from that uh, experience. And uh, moving forward, we extremely appreciate the help of uh, JICA through the project that we're implementing now in Region 8. 
uh, be it on the, the building back better. So moving forward, we definitely uh, utilize the technology as well as the processes that uh, the JICA project has been uh, imparting to region.